Bienvenidos and welcome to Cuba. Right now I'm in Havana. I've been invited by the really awesome tour operator, Posh Adventures. I'll be doing an eight day trip all around the country. So come with me and let's see what we're gonna be doing. After 12 days of traveling around the country, I'm still at a loss for words. This place is so unique to any other place I've ever been to. Similarities with the rest of Latin America, but with a feeling like you stepped into a time machine. Most people will fly into Havana, where you'll be swept away with antique cars, dilapidated buildings, beautiful squares, and street musicians always within sight. Havana is great, and I suggest everyone spending at least two to three days wandering the streets. To see the real side of Cuba, you will have to leave the capital, so we jumped on the tour bus and began traveling around. If I did this on my own, I wouldn't have seen or done half the stuff that I did as well as get to know so much about the culture from our local guide. The best part of this particular tour operator is that it specializes in trips for millennials, ranging from 24 to 39 years old. We all got along fabulously. In Vinales, we would see some of the most amazing scenery. Tons of crazy rock formations jump out from the ground. It is also home to most of the country's famous tobacco plantations that are responsible for producing their world famous cigars. Here we would learn all about the process and even get to take a puff from a hand rolled stogie. Later, we did a cooking class where we learned how to cook a traditional Cuban dish. Once prepared, we would eat that dish overlooking the Vinales Valley as the sun set. Near the Bay of Pigs, we stopped at Playa Larga to soak in the amazing turquoise water and take a dip in a nearby cenote. My favorite place on the entire trip was Trinidad. Here you can enjoy 15th century Spanish architecture and cobblestone roads. While there are tourists here, it doesn't feel near as overwhelming as in Havana. If you're looking for adventure, head to the Parque El Cubano to do a 35 minute hike to the Salto de Javiera waterfall. And if you have the courage, be sure to jump off the cliff walls. Yeah! Waterfall montage! For a real treat, swim under the waterfall and you will be amazed at how far the cave goes back. My trip to Cuba was amazing, and I will forever remember how friendly the people are, many with smiles from ear to ear. It is proof that happiness is in no way correlated to money or material possessions. My mind's blown. I mean, the historical architecture, the people, very welcoming, everyone's so kind. And um, I honestly had no idea what to expect, and I just continue, it just continues to amaze me, really, the place and the people. I love it. I think the thing that surprised me the most is, um, uh, you know, the contrast of the ruins with the, kind of the, the cities look ruined. And, um, and then you get your 50s cars, and then you get that in Havana, and then you come out to Vinales, and you get this gorgeous natural beauty. It's just so much uh, variety in a country. One of my top recommendations of places to go for travel. Um, it's just a really warm uh, atmosphere. The people are super welcoming. And everywhere you turn, every corner, there's something extremely picturesque uh, from the architecture, the colors, 
and the natural smiles on the street. So amazing. It's a really interesting place. I'll totally be back. Now. Well, unfortunately, that's the end of our trip in Cuba. I had a fantastic time. I highly recommend coming. If it's your first time, I definitely would suggest taking a tour. It makes the whole process very easy. I went with Posh Adventures. I had a great time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. And if you want to have more fun, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.